Hey guys, down here, welcome to the end of the beer review. This time we have something that took a roll around on the floor for a while and cut back up. It's all dinner to shit. And yet, we're back and then, and it survived. This is one that came uh, direct from me from Guy from Drinking in Canada. So this is one that uh, Lee took them out on a brewery tour with, or a brewery tour, like uh, this is the brewery. This is Sea Level Brewings Royal Red Mojo Ale. This one's 355 milliliters, 5.2 percent alcohol by volume. Keep refrigerated, unfiltered, unpasteurized. I'm sure I've got one before here around somewhere, but and always sea level brewing, 980 Terry's Creek Road, Porium, Nova Scotia. www.clevelbrewing.com. Yeah, that's what we got. And this is 355 mil, 5.2% alcohol, volume. And like I said, this one. I dropped it about four or five times. Didn't think it survive. So yeah, it has survived, and I like red ale. So let's give it a pour and find out. And it's a leak off the bottom. Well, well, maybe not. Anyways, <laughs> here's what we got. Nice decent looking red. Lots of carbonation. Slightly off white head. Yeah, let's give it a smell. Hoppy. Yeah, a little grimy smelling from the hops. What's the kind of hop I'm getting in now? Oh, jeez, it's uh, maybe a little grapefruit, a little lemony. Cheers. Royal Red Mojo Ale. I would say, man, that is it's a, almost an IPA. I would say, except for the except for the, with the bitterness. There's a lot of uh, a lot of grapefruit in there. But there's no, uh, not a lot of, not, no big bitterness. Man, yeah, that's a, uh, it's pretty decent ale. And it seems they grow their own hops, which is very nice. Well, that's what it says, anyways. But yeah, I mean. Getting a really nice grapefruit, big grapefruit taste off it. Uh, being a red ale, expecting more, a little bit more of a, maybe a caramel, more, you know, more that way. Super easy drinking, but it is the, you know, it's got to be the hops, but it. I don't know, it's just, it's really good, but I'm kind of torn on this one. There's no malt, there's no maltiness to it. Maybe a little bit in the thickness, but the, uh, the nice grapefruit taste is really coming through on this one, which I'm really enjoying. 
It's a very surprising beer. I think I was pretty surprised by the uh, other ones I've had from these guys. The other one, the other two. I can't remember if I drank the other one. I can't remember if I had two or three of them. Which is, I can't remember if this is the second or third one I've had from them, but... This one is really good. Really nice grapefruit, like red grapefruit. A little bit of maltiness, like tiny bit in the back end. Very smooth. Very easy drinking. I'm gonna go uh, 3.75 on this one. 3.75. This one's really good. I'm really enjoying this. Actually, I'd like to get some more. Cheers, Guy. Cheers, Lee. Cheers, Cousin Pascal, for uh, yeah, making these, find this one to my door. Cheers. <laughs>